There's never really been a good time to be a Palestinian refugee. Nearly a million harmless Arab villagers have been made homeless as a result of war in the Holy Land. And if anything, it's getting harder. Their dream of a state seems to be fading away, and now it seems even their status as refugees is under threat. President Trump cannot make the Palestinian issue disappear. It's not fair that I'm 22 years old and I don't know anything about uh, my country. So who are they? Where did they come from and what do they want? And is there a point after more than 70 years where they're no longer refugees but something else instead? In 1948, around 750,000 Palestinians fled or were driven from their homes in the fighting that surrounded the creation of the State of Israel. They were scattered, they ended up living all over the place, but most, around 5 million, live in the West Bank, in the Gaza Strip, and in three surrounding countries, Jordan, Syria, and Lebanon. And many of them live in refugee camps like this, Burj al Barajna. It's been a long time since people lived in tents, but they still call this place a camp, even though it's kind of a suburb. The camp is tiny, it's only a kilometre square, and it's hemmed in. You've got Hezbollah territory over there, the airport just over this ridge, and the main city of Beirut just over there. It was built for 10,000 people, but there are four times that many here now, including new refugees from Syria. The camp is crowded and dangerous. The wiring is lethal. Dozens of people have been electrocuted. There are now third and fourth generation refugees living here, and at the heart of it all, a dwindling few who actually remember Palestine. I was born on the 3rd of August, 1938. My village is Tarshiha. I was a small boy, and I looked to the sky. I saw three planes. I was afraid when I saw the planes pumped you know, Tarshiha, I called my grandmother, we have to leave. Maybe in one week or 10 days, we will come back to Tarshiha. And still that day never come. Israel says if 5 million Palestinians came back, that would mean the end of the Jewish state. But the refugees hold on tight to what they call the right of return, even though realistically, most of their villages no longer exist. So who's been looking after them all this time? Well, the main organization is UNRWA. That's the UN Relief and Works Agency. Its only job is to look after Palestinian refugees. And some people have a problem with that. UNRWA is not serving Palestinians. UNRWA is a political arm that claims to serve Palestinians. It has this ongoing number of refugees that is unsustainable. Earlier this year, the Trump administration stopped giving UNRWA money. That basically slashed its budget by about a third. UNRWA has already had to cut jobs and free staff salaries. Eventually, schools and hospitals could be affected too. The Trump administration doesn't agree that there are five million Palestinian refugees, but it hasn't said how many it thinks there are. So what's going on? Well, we've heard a great deal this year about the so-called deal of the century, Donald Trump's big idea to solve the Israeli-Palestinian problem once and for all. But the steps taken so far have mainly antagonized one side. The Department of State will announce the closure of the Palestine Liberation Organization office here in Washington, D.C. Today, we finally acknowledge the obvious, that Jerusalem is Israel's capital. The Palestinians feel, rightly or wrongly, that their backs are against the wall. I do believe nothing will consolidate any identity except being in a crisis and the Trump administration put the Palestinian issue into crisis. The refugee definition is a legal definition. It's not a sociological one. Take the case of Palestinians in Lebanon. This is the fourth generation. They don't have the right to work or to own properties. Uh, this is a basic rights. All this is will reinforce their refugee identity. Decades of despair don't really seem to have changed this sense of who they are. Everywhere you go, you find young Palestinians wearing their refugee identity with a kind of fierce pride. Your grandparents, they left their home in Palestine. Uh, your parents were born here, you were born here. Are you a refugee? 
عايش بمخيم ما له حقوق حامل وثيقه انه انا لاجئ ما ما معي باسبور ما معي اي شيء ف اكيد بحس حالي لاجئ اي وانا سي تو مستر ترامب ذات قد ما طلع قرارات قد ما حكى عن صفقه صفقه القرن فلسطين رح تضل فلسطينية شق من شق وابا من ابا وما في شيء ما في بديل عن حق العوده حق العوده شيء لابد منه ان كان هلا ولا ان كان بعدين رح يحصل رح يحصل لو وقفت قدامنا كل قوى العالم Is this a fork in the road for the Palestinians? The Trump administration seems to be pushing them into a corner. Maybe it's hoping they'll crack, stop being refugees, stop relying on UNRWA, and stop talking about the right of return. You know, that might be possible for someone who's managed to settle abroad, but here, it's kind of meaningless. A refugee identity is pretty much the only thing people here have, and it's a really hard thing to change.